501 southbound East Kingsford, Michigan. Escanaba Lake Superior Railroad. Just happened to hear the train coming about. Looks to be a pretty long one. A little walk over here at the favorite spot everybody likes. A little warm out here today. Sun shining. We're expecting uh, some more thunderstorms. Hopefully not severe. We'll have to see, I guess. We're down to empties now. Let's see what's on the back side of the train. Everybody asks where this wood goes to. This goes to mills, not sawmills either. We're talking about pulp mills, where they make all sorts of different products, OSB board, uh, who knows what, but uh, any trains that go north from here, most of the wood goes to Segola, goes to the mill there. And most of the wood going south I believe goes to Green Bay, which is Wisconsin, of course. Where does the wood come from? It comes from Michigan, it comes from Wisconsin. They have a few different spurs. Uh, you've seen my one video of the spur up north of here, up in Ranville. Um, there's a wood yard there where they put these cars and they load them up, trains haul them away. There's plenty of them uh, down in Wisconsin that do the very same thing. Pembine has a very large wood yard. The difficult part of it is uh, I can't really get into those areas to film for you guys because it's all private property. They really don't uh, want the liability of somebody like me in there, so. And man, is this a long train or what? So he's going across the uh, crossing by the metal yard, the scrap yard right now, which is, I don't know, a quarter mile north, south, south of us. Alter Metals, that's the name of it. They do service them as well. Uh, when they come north, they stop there often. They grab rail cars filled with recyclable metals. And uh, they have to take them north before they go back south to Green Bay, but uh, 501, man, you got some power today. We might even see the train slow down as it approaches the East Kingsford train trestle going over the Menominee River into Wisconsin. That bridge uh, built in the early 1900s mostly wood and they do have a restriction over the top of it I believe I do have some videos as well uh, showing trains going across it and as well uh, not last year year before some kids jumping off of it well that's just poopy isn't it not sure what that was. Where's the end of the train? I'm glad I came out here now. Kind of sitting out inside, doing some business on Facebook. Heard the train horn and threw on a pair of shorts, put on my shoes, and ran out the door. I see the end. I 
you guys be careful when you slam that thumbs up button because I don't want you to hurt your phone or your computer. Do leave a comment below. How many cars uh, did we count? I'm, I'm not counting. I always let you guys count. It's just much easier that way. Of course, you know, if you don't hit that subscribe button, you'll never see videos like this unless you're just randomly looking through YouTube. And, well, share it. Share the video. If you like my videos being seen, I don't make videos just from the sit out there. And, uh, hey, say goodbye to Fred. Bye, Fred. Hey, you guys have a great day. Wherever you are in the world. Mm-hmm.